Your vehicle may be equipped with some or all of these LED lighting features that are both convenient and offer a little extra security when traveling. Let me explain. Our quad beam LED headlamps generate a brighter light that resembles natural daylight, which in turn can help reduce eye strain. Plus, they typically last longer than halogen. Bright LED tail lamps and fog lamps complement the headlamps while enhancing nighttime visibility. You'll also appreciate these available convenience lighting features such as integrated mirror-mounted clearance lights and forward-facing LED side mirror spotlights that are helpful for setting up a campsite or lighting up a worksite. To operate, simply press either the left or right or both side mirror spotlight buttons. Plus, driver and passenger security approach lamps illuminate the area around the front doors of your vehicle and come on automatically when you unlock the doors using your key fob or anytime you open the doors. High visibility LED box lights in the box interior make it easy to find and load items in the dark. There are two lights located in the rear corners that shine forward. There's also one in the high mounted stop lamp on the rear of the cab. To turn them on and off, from inside the cab, just press the box lighting button, here. After 10 minutes, they'll turn off gradually. Finally, a helpful tailgate lamp offers lighting for the hitch area for easy trailer hookups at night. To turn it on, use the same button you use to turn on the box interior lights. You may be interested to know that your vehicle may be equipped with an enhanced upfitter switchboard to help power your upfit component needs. Let me explain. For your convenience, built-in upfitter switches have been moved to the overhead console for easy access. Plus, we've increased the number of switches from four to six. So now you have more capability to control components such as winches, electric spreaders, lights, and more. To help power your upfit needs, we've increased the circuit capacity over the previous generation. There are now four 25 amp circuits, plus two 40 amp circuits, which can be configured to be hot at all times, so you don't need to have the vehicle running for power. In order to convert the 40 amp relays to key off battery use, there are a few steps you'll need to take. First, you'll need to locate the relay box under the engine hood next to the driver's side fender, here. Then remove the relay cover by pressing the tab and lifting it off. Next, locate the 5 amp fuse. You'll then need to pull it out, slide the spacer over, and place it so the left prong is in the far left slot and the right prong is in the middle slot. Replace the cover and your 40 amp circuits are now set to run on battery power even with the key out of the truck. Keep in mind, to help remind you when power is flowing through the switch, it will remain illuminated to let you know it's on. Did you know that your vehicle may be equipped with convenient power scope mirrors that can easily telescope and fold with the simple touch of a button? And that can be helpful when pulling a trailer or when you're parking in a tight space. Let me explain. To telescope your mirrors, meaning you can extend them out farther from your vehicle so you can see around a trailer, be sure your vehicle is running or in accessory mode by pressing the engine on button with your foot off of the brake pedal. Then press and hold the left arrow of the telescoping control located on the driver's side windowsill here to extend the mirror out, and the right arrow to retract it back in again. To fold the mirrors, with your vehicle running or in accessory mode, just press and release the power fold button on the lower left corner of the mirror controls located on the driver's side door panel, here, and they'll automatically fold in toward the vehicle. To unfold them, press and release the button again. Oh, and one more thing. If your mirrors shake or vibrate while adjusting them or while driving, you may need to resync them. To do that, press the power fold button to fold your mirrors in. You should hear a click letting you know that your mirrors have been reset. If you don't, press the button again to fold your mirrors in. Then out again. Any questions? Go to owner.ford.com.